everybody, this is Jessica. Hey, I'm Christina. So today we're going to talk about um, just the different stages that our children go through and how to transition as a parent with your child oh, so, so that you're not kind of left behind and wondering what happened to my baby or so that you don't feel so frustrated <laughs> that you suddenly feel like, how am I gonna do this? It worked when they were three and now they're seven and I can't get anywhere. So um, Christina's got a lot of years of experience with children and um, she's gonna tell us kind of just some good strategies and ways that we can keep our sanity but also uh, raise godly children. Yeah, sanity is questionable, um, but that's not the goal. <laughs> sanity possible. is not the goal. <laughs> so uh, two things come to mind when I think about transitioning kids from when they're a little bit younger to a little bit older. So my oldest is almost 14 at this time and uh, when she was young, we were actually, uh, we read, you know, uh, Dr. Dr. Dobson's books. Okay. We were really trying to figure out, okay, what do we do? How do we navigate this? And she was a very strong-willed child from the get-go, and we actually heard from good, sound Christian people that it was our job to break her will. Ooh, and that. that did not work. It was rough. We tried um, until she hid all the wooden spoons and uh, we broke a couple over her bottom. And so <laughs> we recognized really quickly that we actually couldn't break her <clears throat> will nor change it. What we needed to do was give her choices because our yeah. free will is very important to us. It's hardwired in our DNA. And so choices actually really help us feel like the powerful people that God has intended us to be. Absolutely. And so when we started presenting her with choices, it caused that butting heads thing to subside a little bit. She felt more powerful, we felt more successful, and it's actually grown a lot of fruit in her as she's grown older because the goal is for her to learn how to manage her freedom. Not Absolutely. when she's 18, actually when they're three and four and five year olds. And so we learned that um, while there's certain uh, like levels of um, the relationship that kind of feel like a cop to the kiddos, that that does not supposed to be the way that we continue our relationship with kids. Yeah. So when they're younger, yes, it is a lot about, hey, I'm gonna give you 20% of opportunities to make choices and I'm gonna be making the other 80. But then as they grow up, that that proportion actually needs to shift yeah. and they need to be able to grow in making better choices for Absolutely. themselves. And um, even simple ones too. Would you like broccoli or carrots for dinner? It's a choice, but you're gonna eat a vegetable. And so if you're not able to be a cop forever because our kids naturally transition, they grow, they pull away, they um, have different interests. And yes. sometimes we think that our role is supposed to stay the same throughout all the ages. Yeah. And we are supposed to have a little bit more uh, um, influence in our kids' life when they're younger in those really formative years. But as they grow older, they don't need a cop. What they need is a coach. They need somebody that's gonna champion yes. them, believe in them, um, can uh, be there for them no matter what crazy they're going through. And something we've always told our kids is, we would rather you really, really mess up when you're under our roof. Yeah, because it's way worse once you get older. And so, you know, now that she's a, she's a teenager, our relationship with her is more coach-like. We're still her mom still her dad, but we're coaches in her process. And we also know that when she grows and she gets out of the house, we're not able to be a coach anymore. We become, yeah. you know, like a like a confidant, a counselor almost. Yes. It's like, okay, if you ask me a question, then you're actually saying that you want some wisdom, you want some advice here. But a lot of relationships get tense when the kids start leaving the nest because we as parents yes. don't move away from coach and we still think, no, you need to know what I think and how to play the game. If yeah. they don't know how to play the game by the time they leave the house, we probably done something wrong as parents yeah and so recognizing that as our kids transition we also need to transition too yes. and that the goal when they're young is to know okay if I'm gonna empower you to be a powerful person then I can't get angry at you when you do make a decision it's really important yes and I, I agree with everything you said and um, I've worked a lot with teenagers um, and one thing I can tell you absolutely I know it's probably the roughest stage for parents, mm. um, but I love your analogy of the coach because I have found over and over again, um, the biggest issue I see between parents and teenagers is the, the parent not wanting to let go. Ooh. And I know it hurts right. parents, but um, if you just give them a little trust and a little more, um, even if it means letting them fall yep. a little bit, 
um, you will see a difference in your relationship with them. If they can talk to you openly and feel like you see them as the adult they're becoming and Come not on. the child they once were, on. you will see a difference in your relationship with your child. It will take time. It's not an overnight thing, but it is something that you can work toward. So don't lose hope if you are in that stage right now, Come that on. painful stage where it's like, what happened? I, they, don't, they don't care about me. They do care about you and your teenagers need you just as much when they're 15 as when they're eight, it's just in a different way. Come on, so good. Yeah. Yeah. So we bless you parents with yes. hope today. Absolutely. We bless you with yes. tenacity. You, we bless you to, to find opportunities to hear straight from Father God's heart, to know how to do a, um, a good job with the ones that you've been entrusted with. And we just release over you guys peace in the storm. Yes, Mama amen. Mama said there'll be days like this. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs>